Okay, so here we go. We're on uh, a little trip down memory lane. This is uh, this is the dark end of town, down a Poso. So uh, what we have here is something you're not going to see again. It's uh, the second day of the new year in Bali, Zanua. Monday the 2nd of January. So you ain't going to see this again. So I thought I'd just record it on the way home. Just to let you know what's happening here. A few, uh, few people around. So uh, BMC Australian dollars 10.32. So uh, not too bad, I guess. This place on the left here is the, the ice cream parlour. Never seen any any place like that in Bali. It's uh, chocker block. Not very often you won't see. Uh, you'll see. Uh, Less than probably 10 people there. Very, very popular place. There's the Arbyan Hotel where uh, Jack's going to be staying in three weeks' time when he comes over. Two weeks or whatever it is. Got a stand for his motorbike. traffic jam going on here. The problem with these streets in Bali is that they're so bloody narrow that if somebody wants to turn right, it blocks everybody because you've got all on the left here and motorbikes parked everywhere, so you've got to wait till the car on the turns right and you've got to hope that the car's coming towards us you know, we'll let them through. Most of the time they do. Otherwise, you just got to wait for a gap in the traffic and go. That releases uh, releases us. Happy days. So, like you see here now, this fellow wants to turn right. If it was in a car, you wouldn't be able to get through. Although this fellow stopped for him. Good. The beauty of the motorbike is the fact that you can scoot in around them and what have you, and uh, you can get through. A lot of people ride up on the footpaths. <laughs> a lot of the footpaths you can't ride on the two, but you get many holes in them, or they're, uh, they're stacked full of food carts or signs or something like that. I don't know why they even have footpaths. Most people have got to walk on the road. Down yeah, this area here, it's all right. That's uh, yeah, places over in Seminyak and places like that. Kudu area. Bloody hope it's trying to walk on a footpath. I do notice that a lot of these footpaths here are clear at the moment, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I'll get killed here. So as you can see, there's a fair few people walking around. It's, um, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but the weather's fine, it's beautiful. Crazy enough, New Year's Eve. The period that I've been here, New Year's Eve, it never rained. Every other time it's rained. That's over 12 years. I don't think I've, I've had a New Year's here that, uh, that it didn't rain. And this year I never went out, so... All bugger me. Another 
place going up there called Cork. And here's the supermarket, fairly popular supermarket here in town. This is Tambalingan, which is the main street, the main shopping street in, uh, in Sanua. For those who don't know, I'm going as far as I can so you can uh, get a bit of a view. Most of the shops are open, money exchanges are open. Quite a few shops that have had renovation done, so they're all looking good. A lot of new places too. I guess for the last three years a lot of people would have um, would have gone bankrupt and uh, other people would have taken advantage of taking leases over and things like that. Not very cheap to rent a place on this uh, this street here. Not too bad, sometimes this place is chock a block, you know, you'll have a truck parked somewhere unloading goods. Ribs open for lunch, there's a few people in there, which is good. Little R2, beautiful place, that's the, uh, the clothes that they make, for women only. Or pretty flash sort of stuff. Pretty flash prices too. As we come up here, we'll see a couple of trucks. One's full of water, the other's soft drinks by the looks of it. But no, they're continuing on, so we can't see them stop. Now, yeah, here's a new place. You can see this crane up here. It's going to be a new shopping centre come entertainment complex. And, uh, Looking at the signs on the on the fence, it's going to be quite a large place, which is, which is good for Sanur. Let's see if I can pull up here and you can get an idea of what's on the on the fence there. Four floors, vertical forest with indoor multimedia experience, access to the beach with two beach clubs. Pretty flash going on, we'll get a bit of a better picture here. Now you can see that there, I'll zoom in on the beach sunset laser and water show. Yeah. Cinema complex as well. So it's going to be a pretty flashy joint, but I don't know how long it's going to take to uh, to finish it. It was shut down for a, a couple of years there. All the pandemic thing was on, but they're back at work now. Oh yeah, Chambalingan, eh? Lots of lots of fine restaurants, so you know, I mean I've never seen any of or you know a lot of them with a lot of people in them. You might see one or two that have got a quite a few people in them and then you go along and probably see ten or twelve of them with, without anybody in them at all. It's sad. But Funny thing about Indonesia is, uh, and I think other places as well, is that if you open a joint and they see that there's a lot of people going there, you get a bit of custom. Somebody opens a joint the same next door. I see that with a lot of supermarkets here. And uh, there are a few places there where there's two to three supermarkets right alongside one another. That's the mentality of it all. Oh, that wind's picking up. 
hopefully we don't get it on the microphone. Jimmy's Bar, well there's Jimmy's Bar, used to be as popular as all hell, especially around this time. Not a soul in it. We'll probably put that down to oil and gas. There used to be a lot of people working the oil and gas here. And um, they used to do their recreation here, rest and recuperation or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so a lot of money was spread out across Sanoa and I no doubt over the other side as well. But um, most of those places are, are finished now and there's nobody here flashing the money around. Only the, the tourists have come. There used to be hundreds and hundreds of them. So that's the end of uh, that little tourist strip of uh, Sanua. I hope you enjoyed that little jaunt. Uh, not a lot to uh, talk about, although I didn't stop talking the whole way through. But I guess you've got to put something in there. But this is the bypass here, and on my left here is uh, the big McDonald's. I think every year they paint that place. It's uh, I don't know why, but we'll get across the other side of the bypass here and uh, we'll turn this channel on. I might as well turn them off now. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll catch you in the next video. Whatever that may be.